Arkansas Little Rock versus BB Belt. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most biblical show on the internet. My name is Riley Zosman, my apostolic co-host, Graydon. <coughs> All right, everyone, getting one single file line. This is our Hive Mind One-Liners Bracket. If you've seen our Hive Mind Bits Bracket, this is kind of like that, but just for our one-liners. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna rank our own short, witty wordplay. <laughs> Only one one-liner can win. Let us know your favorite Hive Mind One-Liner down in the comments before we get started. Before we get to the bracket, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, HiveMindTV.com for our brand new merch. We also have a drop over on Cope's website, which is linked in description, along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us. Or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. I love the members. We've also got short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Follow us over there. As always, in the first round, we're gonna see a clip, and then after that, we're gonna play it out. Here we go. First matchup. Sacrilegious versus Bold Ring. Let's see them. The only thing I worship is money. Call me sacrilegious. <laughs> <laughs> the handshake's a surefire sign that you liked it. Yes, because I do most of the wordplay on this channel. Yeah. If for some reason this is the first video <laughs> that you're watching from this channel, yeah. <laughs> I'm usually the one who does the wordplay. So when you do wordplay and it goes well, I have to shake your hand. Yep. Because <laughs> otherwise you're depressed. True. I'm a big physical touch guy. Yeah. Especially a man-to-man -man handshake because of the lack of physical touch my father displayed on me as a child. Not even just physical touch. I mean, physical presence was an issue. Yes, yeah, it was. It was not yeah. there. It wasn't even in the room. <laughs> it was in the other room. How are you supposed to touch him? Yeah, you hear him hoop and holler over the game, and that was about it. Hoop and holler? Yeah. Yeah, he was, he had a mini hoop in there. Well, he's hooping and hollering, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and now for Riley's next one-liner. You know, I had a jeweler make an engagement ring out of the rocks from the climbing gym I go to with my girlfriend. When I proposed, she said, now that's a bold ring. <laughs> Yeah. That one's got fundamentals, it does. I will say. And rock climbing is popular right now. It is. There's a lot of couples who rock climb together. True. They say those who climb together rhyme together? No. Uh, they, they don't, say, don't that. say that. You're right. But bouldering is rock climbing. And kind of mostly they'll say that like in British. In British? Yeah, they'll say it in British. I'm going to a bouldering gym. Yeah, the bouldering gym. And I think that would be a romantic gesture if you did get an engagement ring made out of the rocks from the gym you guys go to together. It's cheap. It's an idea for your cousin Dave. Yeah, Dave, if you're listening, he's going to be like, there's a difference between bouldering and rock climbing, because there is, apparently. But I like, know, whatever. Shut up, Dave. That's like people who say there's a difference between lacrosse and croquet. Yeah, it's like it <laughs> sticks. I don't know, there's sticks and Hello. there's a, like a ball. Yeah. And rich people like it. Yep, that's true. We didn't really break down the fundamentals of yours because it is so simple, but uh, the sack being money and yep. sacrilegious. You worship the bag. Yeah, but <laughs> sacrilegious often means like you're taking religion in vain. Like it's sacrilegious. To get baptized and pissed. Yeah, that would be sacrilegious. For sure. And so this is worshiping <laughs> money, which is sacrilegious, but also you're religious to the sack. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I side with fundamentals here, but I also <laughs> think that yours is it's more impressive that it's you and yeah. it is so quippy. Mm -hmm. But I think to the average ear, that hits and that's just nice. Yeah, we're going to be battling ourselves a lot in this, which I don't really like. Usually a bit is just funny and there's no like competition there, but this is kind of like a, a two wizards battling. Yeah. Or a wizard and like a... A gnome. Yeah. <laughs> a gnome who has like special powers, but he can only like make flowers bloom. Yeah. It's not that he's like <laughs> in a rose like buds. Yeah. People are like, ooh. We're not sending him to the wizard war. No. <laughs> he like kills a, an ant. <laughs> I'm going to side with myself and like Grant decide here. What do you got? I'll take sacrilegious. I agree. I didn't really vote for bouldering, by the way. <laughs> okay. I was you gonna did, I was no, I was gonna vote for sacrilegious. I said it was uh, quippier and it hits. Okay. Second matchup we've got Playground versus Helter Skelter. You know, it's crazy that back in 2020 when COVID first started, kids at recess were just spreading the playground. Playground. Uh, playground. I'm proud of that one. I will say. It's really good. <laughs> spreading the plague round. Playground. So it's recess, playground, spreading the plague around. Yeah. The plague around. <laughs> <laughs> I like Helter Skelter. That's What's about that? the Beatles. It's like the book Charlie Manson's Gang Red. I thought Helter Skelter was that blind girl. <laughs> 
This is a collaborative effort. Yeah. 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 I don't think you were collaborating on the wordplay. I just took what you said. And, right. And but I teed you up. Yeah, you teed me up. Yeah. yeah. All of them are going to be collaborative, kind of. I guess. Yeah. You're there. Yeah, true. Or I'm there when yeah. you say one. Or Diggy. Or Dignan. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't have any one-liners, though, I don't think. I much prefer Playground. Me too. Because hell, that's like... I'm it's mean. Sure. There's no way I'm the only person who's done that either. Right. Just Helter Skelter, Helen Keller. That's like, come on. It's also rooted in mean. It's rooted in mean? Yeah, you're being mean. <laughs> Who am I being mean to? Helen. I just called her blind. She was blind. Or was she? She did sit front row at a lot of NBA games. She's dead, though. And people are kind of confused by that. It's like, why would you go if you yeah. can't see them, you know? At the awards that one time. Yeah. She like, looked right at someone, yeah. shook their hand. Yeah, that is a little bit weird. She also flinched when I jabbed at her <laughs> yeah. one time. Helen, what's up? Yeah, yeah. She said, whoa, when I said, ah. Yeah. See? <laughs> ah. It's plague, for sure. Now we got hyperbully. Versus data moshing. Weird how these are kind of alike. I remember when this kid who used to make fun of me in high school got an Adderall prescription and started exaggerating all his insults. <laughs> yeah. Turned into a hyper bully. <laughs> a lot of these are like this. It's not laugh out loud funny no. at all. No, that'll be my reaction a lot of the times too, is just digest it. It's like a bite of food at a fancy restaurant that's like not good, but it's interesting. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> oh, you put cigarette smoke in a codfish. And yeah. You're like, Interesting that you could do that, yeah. <laughs> but why would you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I am very proud of that one, and I remember I came up with that, and I wrote it in my notes. I was like, oh, hyperbole, mm -hmm. hyperbole. And hyperpop. There was not a hyperpop joke in there. <laughs> you know, I went to an underground rave with our stats guy last week. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we were data moshing. <laughs> You had an instant reaction. Yeah, instant. <laughs> it was kind of crazy. It's almost like I didn't even, the joke didn't register. I was just psyched for you. <laughs> like you were just yeah. out there having fun, yeah. moshing. And I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> I am not impressed by the word, my own wordplay on yeah. that one. Like stats guy, data moshing, whatever. If I had worked in like video editing into sure. it, because that's what data moshing is used for usually, yeah. then it would have been somewhat impressive. This was a real one-to-one. -one. I go hyperbole. Me as well. Next we got Arkansas Little Rock versus BB Belt. Well, I remember Arkansas Little Rock because that was like last week, but I do not remember BB Belt. I do. It's stupid. Ah, oh, thanks. My great uncle said he was on Noah's Ark. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. He said Noah used to smoke crack. <laughs> what? Yeah, he got on the Arkansas Little Rock. <laughs> sitting, <sighs> sitting on his nightstand. He had a diamond studded Bible belt too. We good? Do you get it? Oh yeah, Arkansas, Little Rock, Bible Belt, Tulsa. I didn't say Tulsa. But <laughs> <laughs> this one is nice. Yeah, it has a lot of layers to it. I like the story and I like when a full sentence can be like the pun. You know what I mean? Yeah, Arkansas, Little Rock. So it's Little Rock, Arkansas, which is part of the Bible Belt. Noah smokes crack. That's funny. Yeah. To think of Noah, who's like 700 years old, mm -hmm. smoking crack on Noah's Ark. Yeah, and your uncle being there, also <laughs> funny. I think it was my great uncle and even then, right. that's insane. Yeah. This is thousands of years ago mm -hmm. and probably didn't happen at all. Yeah. But just to imagine an old man smoking crack on a boat full of two of each animal. Like, there are lions roaring in the background and he's like... <laughs> I think the person who gets walked the most in baseball should be given an award. Mm -hmm. A BB belt. <laughs> now you said that one was stupid. It's actually pretty smart. I get it. I feel like a lot of people watching probably don't. Yeah, go ahead and explain baseball to our young audience. Sure. In baseball, a walk is abbreviated as a BB, and that means base on balls. Something like that. And so an award would be like a belt or a trophy, and so I say a BB belt would be given to the person who gets walked the most. It would be a trophy. Let's just get that clear. In baseball, yeah, they don't really give out belts. <laughs> Any sport besides the WWE, which is just macho dancing. What about UFC? There's belts. That's true. Combat sports. Combat sports. Boxing, belts. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Barry Bonds would win it. Like, he got walked a lot. <laughs> imagine in baseball if they won a belt, though, for anything. That'd be so <laughs> sick. Can you imagine, like, Miguel Cabrera just... <laughs> Boom! I'm going Arkansas Little Rock. Easy here. Yeah, me too. I'm pleasantly surprised by BB Belt, though. Foolishly proud of yourself. Well, I don't remember it. Okay. It feels like a different person. Yeah, I don't remember my hair looking like that. Now look at it. Way better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is like... Yeah, look straight at the camera. This is the evolution of man here. Yeah. This wow. is a better man. You look like James Ivy, man. I don't know who that is. Neither do I. I just really? said a name. Yeah. yeah. But it's like what I thought. 
James Ivy. You look like James Ivy. Thanks, dog. Yeah. I like that. It's also hard for me to see that Deep State Disco shirt. Why? That was what I was wearing when I broke my elbow. Oh, really? Yeah, and they cut it off of me. They cut the shirt off of you? Yeah, I had to. Why? You can't get it. Like, my arm was broken. What were they going to do? Pull it off? How? Like, over? Put my arm up? Yeah. That wasn't an option, pal. My bone was in two. I Here, did. let me break your arm. Okay. Now watch how much this hurts. Say ow. It what? hurts. It doesn't hurt. Say ow. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Say ow. It hurt me other ways. <laughs> you broke my arm and yeah. I feel fine. Yeah. And I honestly think now you're kind of playing it up a little bit. Really? Yeah, you're playing up the pain because for me, I've got a lot of mobility Yeah. and I actually feel low-key better. How's it feel that I have metal in my arm and I could still beat your ass? You couldn't. Yes, I could. That's the thing is you I think... I have hate in my heart. Well, yeah, you would beat yes. my ass. I wouldn't beat your ass but because if... I actually love you. <laughs> <laughs> but if it came down to it, yeah. say it was sanctioned. So I don't <laughs> feel like there's an argument. Sure. It's just we're both trying to win a prize. A bunch of cash. A cash or a belt something like that, then I would best you physically. But, but that's like if there's rules. In a street fight, I'm winning. Again, only because you have motive. Yeah, because I'd gouge your eyes out. Yeah, and I don't have motive. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Did I just... you just almost fall over <laughs> sitting up? <laughs> if you are about to tell me you could beat my ass again, honestly, <laughs> that um, proves my yeah. point. I almost tumbled there. <laughs> <laughs> How do you almost fall over <laughs> sitting up? A bit of an Ottoman situation. The Ottoman Empire fell once again. <laughs> <laughs> Next we got dead ass versus Old Spice. I think these are both me. Nice. You know, back when I owned a farm, my dad choked out and killed our pet donkey. Really? Dead ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that moment because I think that was one of the first ones ever where you really like, like I was like, wow, you have you have some one-liners. Yeah, you said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I dapped you up and then I bowed to you yeah. off camera. Wow. Yeah. I don't remember that. But, I'm yeah. pretty sure I bowed to you for a while, actually. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember the bowing, but. It was like a full on, it wasn't like a bow, like standing up bow. I like got down on my knees and I bowed as if I was praying to Mecca. <laughs> Can't wait till Ice Spice has like nine albums out and I could say, I like the old Spice. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Kind of a quick one. Kind yeah. of like an in-between one-liner. Almost not even a one-liner. I think if I had whistled, I think that would have like topped it off. Or you, if you had yeah. done that. And if you did your packs like Terry Crews. Yeah, I was going to say I could pop my top off yep. and do the bing, 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 bing. I'm doing it, but it's yeah. hard to tell. Oh, I can tell, buddy. They're dancing. Them things are moving. They are moving. I'll shave my head for the next one. Okay. Um, it's easily dead ass. Yep. Now we got Celtics versus allergies slash Benadryl. You know, my friend works at the box office for the Boston basketball team. Yeah. She sell ticks. <laughs> That's a classic. That's a classic. I yeah. like that one. Simple. The Boston Celtics NBA team. And uh, working in the box office, you sell tickets to the events at the TD Garden in this case. And tickets are often abbreviated as ticks. This is one of those that, like, I wish worked on Twitter, but it relies on a spelling thing. Right. Where you have to say it out loud. Mm -hmm. So these are the ones that I write down, like, oh, I should tweet this. And then I go, wait a minute, I can't. I have to say it. Some things have to be done in real life, man. I'm learning that. Like sex. I am learning that. Yeah. The hard way. I know. I just found out yeah. that phone sex is not, you don't put it in the phone. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I it was- It has the little compartment. I know. I'm glad I was nearby because you, it was stuck in there and that could have got ugly. Uh, well, it did get ugly. Yeah. It was ugly before. Yeah. <laughs> it was ugly when I put it in and it was ugly when I took it out. It but looks like a dog treat. You're telling me my dog is obsessed with that thing. <laughs> Jesus if anybody out there, I guess I could clear that up for people. We have like no a, one needs that phone set. You don't fuck the phone actually. <laughs> uh, for phone sex, just found that out. Yeah. When it comes to allergies, you gotta prepare for every situation. Because if there's a fire, how are you gonna know what to do if there hasn't been a drill? <laughs> Benadryl is the drug that you take when you're having an allergic reaction. It's an antihistamine. I yeah. like the fact that you preface it with, you got to be prepared. And with fire drills, you're preparing for the instance that the building's on fire. Or a tornado drill. Yeah. Which is one of my favorite genres of music right now. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. I had a dream where I got stuck in a tornado last night. Really? Yeah, it was weird. Like in it? Like, like you were in the center of it? Like a cow? I was driving a truck with Eden's brother in the passenger seat. Chase. Yeah. And we pulled up I'm the exact intersection I know in Swanton. It's off of Airport Highway, Fulton Lucas intersection. I know where it is. And I'm, I'm pulling up. And to the right, there's always been a farm field. And in the farm field were little dust devils. Oh, like yeah. Little ones. Like the wind was blowing. Mm -hmm. Chase being a city boy, I said, hey, Chase, look out there. Dust devils. And he goes, oh, wow. And then they started gathering. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> On a real tornado formed. And our truck lifted up into the air. And I said, no fucking way. This is how I go out. I had that thought in the dream. Yeah. I was like, no shot. I just got picked up by a tornado. Did you, like, feel the turbulence yeah. in the dream? Because I have those recently. My dreams have gotten more vivid. Yeah. Where, like, I feel the thing. Like, yeah. I feel myself falling or I feel myself floating and or... I felt the height yeah I remember like we got picked up and I was like this is ridiculous but as long as we don't go any higher we'll, we'll probably be, be all right <laughs> yeah. and as we got higher and I couldn't see the ground I was like holy shit like, this is it this is how I'm gonna go out this is bullshit and I was like pissed about it yeah. <laughs> and then we landed miles away and I like woke up in the hospital and everybody was like are you all right and I blamed it on him I said he was showing me something on reddit and I drove right into the tornado <laughs> <laughs> Why would you blame it on I don't know. That was the dream. That's a crazy thing yeah, to do. It was weird. Did he die? I don't, he wasn't in the rest of the dream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Celtics. It's better. Yeah, Celtics is better. Jason Tatum, hit me up. What? I was just telling Jason Tatum to hit me up. He's married with child. Not like that. Oh. I'm just, any NBA player, sorry, any NBA player, hit me up. Even like, I'm just trying to become friends with NBA players. Even Dennis Schroeder? Oh, I would love to become friends with him. He's, he's the sick. MVP. Yeah, he's sick. <laughs> he's so cool, and he has awesome tattoos. And that cool little hair. Now we have Suicide Watch versus Telepathy. <laughs> I think this is going to be a phone sex joke, too. <laughs> yeah, I think so. When they see what's on my wrist, they're going to want to kill themselves. Call it a suicide watch. <laughs> <laughs> Quite like that one. Yeah, you were proud of that one. Honestly, any time I can say <laughs> yourself on YouTube, yeah, <laughs> I like being able to do it. Yeah, because I mean, reason. it takes, it's like saying a gay joke in a lot of ways. You gotta be clever to get there. Otherwise, you're just a dick. Yeah, as a straight guy yeah. making a gay joke, you gotta have tact. Yes. And you gotta be self-aware, you gotta mm -hmm. understand who you are and who you're talking to. And you gotta voice your support. Yes. Let people know what side of the fence you're on. Correct. And you're not making fun of the person who is gay. Right. But you're making fun of the people who make fun of the people who are gay. Correct. And to make fun or light of... That does take tact as well. Yeah. Drunk driving jokes, we found out that takes some tact. You gotta have a lot of experience drunk driving Correct. in order to make a joke about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same with kidnapping and drug use. Armed and robbery. Armed robbery. And Arson. Political assassination and conspiracy. Yeah, there's a lot of topics that we talk about that really I don't think we get enough credit for the tact. A lot of people sit on the sidelines. Yes. And make those jokes, but not us. We go out in the field and we get our hands dirty. Head first. We get our hands <laughs> dirty first, yeah. and then we come back to the table and we make those jokes yeah. from experience. Yeah, look at the dirt under my nails. Look at the pine tar covering my palms. They're sticking together. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to play baseball right now. That's how sticky my hands are from being out in the fields. The pine fields. What's it called when you can like communicate without speaking? Is it telepathy? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's phone sex. Oh, Tele no. Telepathy is phone sex. <laughs> Telepathy is when you oh, communicate okay. brain to brain. Got it, got it. Got yeah. it. That's a collaborative effort. That's right a good there. collaborative effort. Yeah, that effort. was like a boom. You know yeah. what I mean? It is based on dumb pronunciation. Right, but I knew what I was doing. Well, totally. Yeah. And I like that. Me too. But it's not as good as Suicide Watch. I don't know. I mean, we just went on a, a tact rant. But I guess there is tact to... Telepathy. <laughs> I'm kind of on the fence here because I feel like Suicide Watch is kind of corny. It's just kind of like a bar. Yeah. It could be in a rap song, like a corny rap song. Yeah. Let's err on the side of comedy. Let's just give it to Grant. Okay. Grant. Telepathy. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's a more laugh out loud moment and that's yeah. what the channel is like. That's the real core of the channel. Comedy wins. Drill Bit Taylor versus Toupee Fiasco. Oh, I only remember one of these. So I went to the guy that makes me my suits the other day, mm -hmm. and he kept trying to tell me this joke about Fabio Foreign. Okay. Call him my drill bit Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of like, you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, you Fuck. Yeah, that's, I came up with that one all by myself. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, give me one, brother. That's fucking good. If you like Graydon's wordplay, 
Give me two thumbs up in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to campaign for yourself after that. A little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I love that one, though. It is, is honestly, it's quite brilliant. It is pretty good. Fabio Foran, a drill artist from Brooklyn. <laughs> a joke is a bit. And then a tailor is someone who fixes your suits. I mean, hey, I love it. I think you did a great job. And Drill Bit Taylor, for those of you who are too young, is a shit piss Owen Wilson movie where he teaches, like, kids how to defend themselves. It's a weird movie. He's like, there's a scene where he's in, like, a dried-out creek bed teaching children how to fight each other. (laughs) I kind of forgot that we had to explain what Drill Bit Taylor is for some people. Yeah. That's funny. The other day I was at the grocery store getting some food and liquor, and I slipped on a banana peel and my hairpiece fell off. Call it a toupee fiasco. (laughs) Only real, like, rap heads will get that one. You know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. Get him, cat boy. Get him. <laughs> okay, I like the cat boy part. Me too. I think that that's really funny to do after a Lupe Fiasco joke. Yeah. But uh, this one kind of sucks, in my opinion, only because I hate doing ones that aren't the actual words. It's just a rhyme. Fair. I love that you were at the store getting some food and liquor. Food and liquor is a Lupe Fiasco album. I like that yeah. because that's something you would be getting. Yeah, food and liquor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that's not like that doesn't up until that point. I'm like with you. I'm like, oh, this is a story. Yeah. I also slipped out a banana peel <laughs> and that slapstick comedy, which we love. Classic. <laughs> and your hair piece falling off. Awesome visual. Yeah. If you've ever seen someone's like hair piece lifting up in the wind. Yeah. That's, that, that'll make your day right there. That's like seeing a puppy. This is like a Three Stooges sort of situation. <laughs> I would love to see it happen, but uh, the whole wordplay part of it is kind of whatever to me. I think it's funnier than Drill Bit Taylor, though. I think I did the cat boy thing pretty well. You I think did. That's what, that's what took it over there for me, but I am going to side with Drill Bit Taylor just because I think the wordplay itself just yeah. bare bones wordplay is much better. And I'm going to just side with comedy, so I'll let Grant decide. I'll take uh, Drill Bit Taylor. Okay. DBT moves on. Next one we've got OJ Simpson versus Planet. A live one. Yeah, this is going to be the first one that's not at the at the desk with the yellow wall. <laughs> Man, I'd kill for a glass of orange juice. I'm an OJ Simpson. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's awesome to hear a crowd roar. Yeah, a crowd roar. I wish we had that in the room. Yeah. Grant does have a loud laugh. That's why we hired him. It's a roar. You know, it feels like a roar, but a singular roar yeah. doesn't do as much for me as thousands of people. There was a there was multiple thousands mm-hmm. of people there roaring. Have you seen the clips of Friends where they take out the laugh track and it's just Ross flirting and it's really creepy? No, I haven't. Oh, it's awesome. They had suspenseful music and it's him trying to flirt and everybody's just like, Ross is flirting with like a pizza delivery girl at one point. She has really short hair. She says that they cut it too short and she looks like an eight-year-old boy and there's no laugh track. And Ross goes, well, that's good for you because I like eight-year-old boys. And everyone's like. That's like if we took Grant's laugh out of Hive Mind videos, it would feel much more awkward. (laughs) Like it would just be like us saying stuff. Luckily, it's all recorded on the same mic. So they can't just like EQ that out. Yeah. Who'd be deaf? Did you just do some sort of like face numbing agent? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're doing something weird with your face. (sighs) Yeah, face numbing agent. That's what I'd call it. Well, we're not supposed to say that word on Uh, YouTube anymore. I got a call from our rep. Really? Yeah, and they said they don't want us to say the word. We can continue to do the substance and talk about it, but we should like use uh, more medical terms (laughs) is what they said. That's the reason I did it. I got a call from my rep today. He said he got that new shit in. (laughs) Right. It's a little more expensive, but wow, it's worth it. Nice. I'm glad you're feeling good, man. I think if we're going to colonize Mars, we really got to plan it. (laughs) What are your better responses? (laughs) Yeah. I like that. That's good. I like that. I do think that wordplay wise, OJ Simpson is more dynamic. Yeah. And again, when you like hide in details with the pun, like you would kill for a glass of orange juice. Yes. And he's a fucking murderer. Well, allegedly. Yeah. Whatever side do you want to be on, buddy? I always I'm believe. I'm gonna stay on this side. I always believe. I feel like the if victims. we switch seats, it would kind of cause yeah. sort of like a whole hysteria sort of thing. I always believe the victims, and I'm a medium, and that dead broad said she killed her. <laughs> it's OJ Simpson for me, pretty easily. Yep. And we got spoiled milk versus subtle teas. Subtle teas. Subtle. I know it's just funny. There's a B in there. Yeah, a silent B. Yeah. Very dangerous. Can't hear the buzzing, so yeah. you don't know if you're gonna get stung. Just. That's done. <laughs> yeah. uh, what happens at the end of the movie with James Franco and Sean Penn? Is that Sean Penn dies? Oh, he does? Oh, you, yeah. Oh, jeez. You spoiled milk. 
<laughs> oh no, come on. What? Don't cry over spoiled milk. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Not my best editing job. There were kind of weird cuts in there. Yeah, I, I was know. gonna say that. You were gonna say that? Yeah. I, I didn't think you could notice. Oh, I can notice everything, bro. <laughs> um, Great movie about a gay congressman. Yeah, Harvey Milk. Sean Penn plays gay. You know, I used to like big, loud, colorful, obnoxious shirts. Yeah. But lately I've learned to appreciate the subtleties in life. <laughs> Dior, Dior. I'm a vanilla the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know why we're doing a pop smoke thing there, but yeah, we were on one. I like that better because I think it's just better wordplay, like written out. Like I've I've learned to appreciate the subtleties in life. Yeah, I like it, but the the flow of spoiled milk is better because you really set me up. Yeah, I just don't like that. I'm going spoiled milk, Grant. What do you do? I'll take subtleties. All right, now we got Witch Trials versus Arnold Palmer. <laughs> so wait, Witch Trials were in Salem? <laughs> so short. So short, a so, quick hitter. Yeah, like, I think that's like tell a joke in the fewest amount of words type of, yeah. type of thing, you know? I like it. The other day I was golfing. Yeah. So I pull up to a par five, slight breeze. We get out the driver. And as I smack the ball, 300, 350 yards. Holy shit. The <laughs> tee flies and lands in my lemonade. Yeah. Accidentally made an Arnold Palmer. You don't fucking golf, dude. I don't, but for that joke, I do. <laughs> that one I feel like appealed to you because I painted the picture yeah. of golfing, uh -huh. which you love, yeah, and I course. know nothing about, next uh -huh. to nothing about. But the tea flying off and landing in the lemonade, and Arnold Palmer was a golfer, and tea mixed with lemonade is his special drink through Correct. Arnold Palmer, makes that joke work. And what do you think about it? I wish that in the moment I had told you, I pull up to a par five, dog leg left, slight breeze. I wish there was one more golf detail in there. Yeah, well, again, I said all of that, though. Well, I know, but you I wish... You wish you had said it? I wish I had said it to you, like, edited out type thing. You know what I mean? Like, we'll do all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I wish I would have just supplied you with a detail that would have made you sound more knowledgeable to set that up in oh, a more golf way. So I would have said it. Yeah. But you would have told me to say it. Yeah, exactly. See, these videos, a lot of people don't know yeah. that they are unedited. Oh, no, they're not. They are unedited. You just said you weren't happy with the editing in the last one. I never said that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Am I being lit up like gas? <laughs> A lot of people don't know that these videos are unedited. So all this dead air is going to be in here? I don't know. It's subtleties for me. What? I'm going Arnold Palmer because I like golf. I'll go Arnold Palmer because it's longer and more involved. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Witch Trials is clever, but it is so short. There's nothing really there. Mm -hmm. And Arnold Palmer took some thought to get a golf tee into a cup of lemonade. That's true. Now we got Meta versus Challenged Paula to an ab duel. You heard about Meta, right? Yes, I have. I'm excited for it. Funny thing is, I ain't met a person who still uses Facebook. Gas. <laughs> Fuck you, Zuckerberg. <laughs> now, that one was cool, but it looks like we shot it with flashlights. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like we were, like, at a campsite. <laughs> What's up with that? I don't know. Our old lighting system is just rough. Yeah. It's hard to look back on that and mm -hmm. think that we didn't think there was an issue. It was making money. <laughs> <laughs> I was making money, yeah. yeah. And I'm sure we'll look back on this someday and say, why did we look like that? We're going to have, like, our version of the new seasons of Always Sunny, where everything's, like, almost too real. CGI. And there's, like, a whole team working for us, and it's, like, directed. There's, like, moving shots. The jokes have, like, all of these crazy animated things in front of them. Like, I, it's going to be a bunch of bullshit. I can wait for that day. We are going to sell the fuck out. Absolutely. You know, I actually did a sit-up competition against one of the judges from American Idol. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, I challenged Paula to an ab duel. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. I wish I had said crunch. Yeah. Crunches. And so sit up is like, it's not as like, you don't imagine right away somebody doing like a sit up like that. Yeah, no, crunch is better. Crunches would have worked better. That's what I like about this is I can grow and learn. This is like watching game film for me. I was just going to say like watching game film. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you're like Bill Belichick. Yeah. Or like Pill Belichick. No. Okay, I'll try something else. Um, You're like the Chiefs coach, Andy. Okay. See how I didn't add his last name? I did. This guy can't read. 
I'm going Paul Abdul, though, just for the, the beauty of it. This is very similar to the last matchup where Meta is like, that's like a joke anybody with a Twitter would have made right. at the time. Just like, I ain't met a person who still uses Facebook. And I'm glad I came up with it seemingly first. But the Abdul one, I really had to think about yeah. it. But again, wish it said crunches. All right, now we got Rhubarb. Versus Diplo. <laughs> Two names here, right? <laughs> I don't remember Rhubarb. I don't know either. I don't know what this is going to be. You know that Zendaya from Euphoria is a huge Nicki Minaj fan? Rhubarb. We'll be right back after this. God, that's awful. <laughs> that's a bad oh, one. wow. And I love Rhubarb, too. Rhubarb pie. Oh, yeah. yeah we've talked about this. You I have, know. like, a bunch of random Rhubarb knowledge. Yeah, I love it. It used to grow in my yard. You know Zendaya from Euphoria is a big fan of Nicki Minaj? No. Call that a rhubarb. That was just the same thing you just did. Is it? I guess it was different. <laughs> I don't I don't remember. That's just how my brain, like right away, my brain went there. Yeah. And I just kind of said it. Did we watch something similar to that a second ago? <laughs> you know, a few people have been saying I'm off my bar game recently. Like I haven't been dropping as, like the word play has been weak. I've been seeing that. Yeah, I th people have been saying that. So I just want to drop one early so Let's that go. people can kind of get back on my side a little bit. Yeah. Got that major laser, make him dip low. Damn. <laughs> I love that one. That one's so fire. Because that's just a bar. Yeah. Like, that could be in a rap song. He's got a major laser, make him dip low. Yeah, and dip low is a DJ, a problematic DJ at that, but... His side project name is Major Laser. Yeah, isn't it a collective? Uh, yeah, I think it might be a couple people. Yeah. Yeah. And so a Major Laser in this case would be a big gun. Big ass gun. A big gun with a, what, what are those, a beam on it. Yep. Is Tell them. Is that what it is? A beam? Mm, is that what they call go. it? The little laser pointer thing? Absolutely. On the top of the gun? Or bottom. Or what? side. Oh, yeah. And it's a major one, so it's big. And they have to <laughs> dip to avoid being riddled with bullets. Yeah, they got to dip low yeah. to avoid the gunfire. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so and I like that one way more. Yeah, me too. I think rhubarb would maybe lose to anything we've seen so far. True. Now we got shoegaze versus mac and cheese. <laughs> you know homophobic people's favorite genre of music? Shoegaze. <laughs> and that's that tact I'm talking about. Yeah. People know where I stand. Mm -hmm. And that one also relies heavily on watching it. Because you have to see me do yeah. this. Otherwise, it's like, what? Because this is like a gay hand movement. No. Oh. <laughs> that is not what I was saying. That wasn't tactful. It wasn't, but again, people know where you stand. Exactly. Which is good. And how you stand, which is masculine. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say cunty. <laughs> Eden just couldn't hold it together. She tried. Because when she got it, I think yeah. that was the thing. It took a second. And She's then, a little slow. And then she spit up her drink. Yeah. So She only studied theater, after all. I usually push the bars further in the video, but when it's tight beats, I just get inspired, you know? Gun and money in my safe. Call that mac and cheese. <clears throat> <laughs> that one's good, but it doesn't have, like, that extra layer for me. I love it. I think it's similar to the Diplo one, where yeah. it, like, could be in a rap song. Mm -hmm. Like, gun and money, so a mac is a gun. That mac 10. <laughs> and then cheese being money. Yeah. Mac and cheese. And the gun and money together... Sound like sex. ...would be in a safe. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Hmm? I thought you were... <laughs> like the mac and cheese bit. Oh, you're talking about, oh, mac and yeah. cheese, like... Yeah, WAP. I go shoegaze. Yeah, I go shoegaze as well. It's way better. Sneak O's versus Miller and Mackin. We can like, you know, we can kind of shake hands in the aisle. Like I'll try to get into your zone too. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So well, what's something you'd say probably? Like I'd say something like, call me a problematic content creator the way I sneak O's across the state lines. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. You know? Back in the Sneeko days. Yeah, it's kind of like frozen in that time. Yes. Because who's making a Sneeko joke right now? Didn't even remember who he was until like the end of that bit. I was like, <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of the foozy of those days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's real foozy time now. Yeah, you know? it's, it's all about Foo's dog. Yeah, well, except for the fact that it's been a quiet couple weeks for Foozy. I believe yeah. he is in an in, uh, institution. Good. Getting the help that he needs. Good. And that's why we need someone new to pop up. Up. Oh, geez, you know. no. I show speed, been a little quieter. Kai Sanat did get blocked by SZA. That could be something we could talk about. I guess. I don't know. We need a new villain. I'll step up. Uh, I think Dignan would be better at that than you. I she, can do it. Eh, I don't think you can. You got too good of a heart, and I love you, and you have a lot to be proud of. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Call me a white rapper the way I sip a little Miller and get to Mackin. While you're sleeping, I'm going to fill your mouth with Q-tips. The way you played pool last weekend, I think you need a little a few Q-tips. We didn't play pool last weekend. I was at Dan Marino's house in Jupiter, Florida. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, the way he bounces off of that yeah. is, is good. And it set me up for a second. Yeah. I think the second one's better than the first one. I kind of do too. The Q-tips is funnier. But sipping Miller's and get to Mackin is pretty good too. <laughs> I don't mind it. Because alcohol will often, as an inhibitor, get you cr- across like feeling bad. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I did, did that. Alcohol will lead you to talking smooth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like flirting with women. Sure. That's what I was kind of saying. Or men. Yeah. But in my case, I guess it would be women. Depends on how many Millers. <laughs> that was one time. That was one time. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. I honestly feel like flirting is just kind of how I talk. Not to me, which is weird. You're like a brother to me, and I love you, and you have a lot to be proud of. I like Miller and Mac in better. Yeah, me too. Now, last one on the first side, we got Jack Antonoff of Bleachers. Versus late X. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, what's the difference between the guy from Fun doing a solo project and my dad's sister being very inappropriate at a public sporting event? What? One's Jack Antonoff of Bleachers, and one's my aunt jacking off in some bleachers. <laughs> 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 The burp is crazy. (laughs) I love this one. Anytime you can say your aunt jacking off. Yeah. I mean, that's funny as fuck. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because I'm assuming that she is a cis woman and therefore does not have a penis. Like, I am imagining my aunt jacking off. And when when you say jacking off about someone with a a vagina, it's funny because it's like... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's funny. not like graceful and sexy the no. way you imagine it usually. No. It's very like you're mashing something, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's not as graceful as, say, flicking the bean. <laughs> that one I never really liked, though. It's just like a little too... I always imagine a door stopper. Oh, like a boing. boing. <laughs> long one um i don't i think of like black swan ew but then if you say jacking off it yeah. turns into like a lady in a sweatsuit pulling her pants down like this <laughs> yeah. and going like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but also jack antonoff and aunt jacking off that was a tough one to like make work yeah. and i'm glad that i did you did and now this is unrelated to you describing a sexual scene this is the second video in a row that you've switched your outfit halfway through Nothing oh, wrong with this that. outfit. <laughs> uh-uh, we're not going to do that. I don't There's think. nothing wrong with this outfit. A sideways hat? No. <laughs> Get your head on straight. <laughs> Ow. You know, last week I got a text from my late ex. Just so weird because we always used a latex. Bah! It's a joke. I don't have an ex. <laughs> I don't have an ex. It's funny, but that is a Kanye West bar. Lil Wayne. Or Lil Wayne. That is a Lil Wayne bar. You stole it. Better use that late text. Because you don't want Want that. that I'm late text. So that is not original material. It is wordplay that I stole from Wheezy. And uh, that's why I'm going to go with Jack Antonoff. Me too. That one's going to be tough to beat in general. Yeah, that one's a good one. Second side, do you want a one-liner in between? Oh, no. I'm going to do one anyway. Okay. So I've been watching the Kardashians a bunch recently. Mm Mm-hmm. Kendall and Kylie have gotten so much more transparent over the years. One more transparent. (laughs) First one on the second side, we got Sea and Enemies versus Signature Scent. I like Sea and Enemies too. Yeah, I like Sea and Enemies because to me, they clownfish. Let me find Nemo. <laughs> Let me find him. Foul! Foul! <laughs> Is that on the spot? Yeah, yeah, I think so. That one's pretty good for on the on the fly. Yeah, on the fly, it's fine. It yeah. feels like our normal banter, though. Yeah. Like, that's what we would do in real life if we weren't filming. True. So, it doesn't yeah, feel... I'd be talking about some <laughs> random ocean thing. <laughs> you know what I really like? Sea and enemies. Yeah. <laughs> like, they clown fish. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, foul! <laughs> you know, the other day, I bought a pen with aromatic ink to sign autographs. Mm-hmm. Because it's important to have a signature scent. <laughs> nah. You don't like that one? No. Why? The pen smells. Do you remember those? A smelly pen? Yeah, they had aromatic ink for pens. It was like during the time when scratch and sniffs were really big. Yeah. People so would, fourth grade? Yeah. <laughs> people would buy like pens that it had like a scent. It'd be like a fruity smell. You went to such a rich school, man. I can't keep up with all I these I didn't know references. a single person who had them. I just saw them on like TV ads. Oh, you had a TV? What is next? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. What? I was sat on our sectional watching the TV. And on your what? Sectional. It's like an L-shaped couch. Like two couches next to each other? But it's one couch. What the 
Uh, yeah, I don't. Is that crazy? Uh, next thing you know, you're gonna tell me you had a finished basement. I don't know if it was finished. We weren't like we wanted to do a few things decoratively. Yeah. But I will say the carpet was nice. Wow. <laughs> seeing enemies for me is way better. Yeah. Seeing enemies is only like slightly better for me because signature scent took premeditation. I like that. It is good, but I also feel like signature scent is like a pretty baked in inside joke in our friend group. Well, you're just bringing that baggage to the table, like. Well, sig- yeah, but like signature scent outside of us is. Do people say that? Yeah, they'll be like, oh. That's my signature scent. Really? Yeah, people say that all the time. Piss. What? That's your signature scent. No, it's not. You always smell like dried piss. You don't mean that. I know. You had someone in your middle school that that was their signature scent, though, right? Dried piss? Yeah. Yeah, Totally. You had a piss kid? Yeah, we had a piss kid, a puke kid, a poop kid, and a sig kid, which I'm assuming is his parents, probably. Yeah, well... Sure, he smokes now. Maybe. I mean, some people break that curse, you know? Yeah, I'm going enemies. All right, now we got the type to beat the king versus British 911. This should be tough to beat Quadeca because some call you the king of type beats. <laughs> they do call me that. But me, I'm the type to beat the king. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> so weird, you're in the middle. Yeah. We have our guests in the middle now. Yeah. Also, just weird how Ben looks. <laughs> it's just like so weird to yeah, see. Yeah, not hot. <laughs> yeah, not as hot. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. I'm, I hate to say it. I just, yeah, go ahead. I'm not going to say it. What were you going to say? I'll say it after the next one. It'll make more sense. Okay. You know what's weird? Huh. British 9 11 is November 9th. <laughs> yeah, the day goes before the month. I hate that one. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just stupid. I like it better than Type to Beat the King. I Yeah, I think I do, but I'm not stoked about it. I mean, it is just an observation. Like, I, I just thought to myself, like, oh, well, we say 9-11 all the time. Yeah. Us specifically, we say it a lot, but Americans <laughs> say it. And I was like, over there to them, they have to do that flipping in their brain. Yeah. Because to them, the date doesn't look like that. No. And I thought that it would sprout into a bit that we were talking about like it was like an opening a conversation mm-hmm. but instead you treated it like a one-liner and just were like ugh, ugh. what was that like ugh, ugh. i never act like that yes you do i'm like cheerful and quippy no cheerful and quippy and funny and cool i am the best that ever to do what cheerful and quippy and funny and cool i am the best that ever did do that ever did do <laughs> yeah it's my new little it's like a nursery rhyme kids can sing about me promise that you will sing about me. Cool and do don't really rhyme. Yeah, but it's a nursery rhyme. You should have said something about your parents' above ground pool. They didn't have one of those. What? We borrowed a trampoline from the police impound. Someone had gotten murdered on it. You could have borrowed one of ours. We had six. I bet you did, buddy. And my dad had a huge Chevy Tahoe that we could have fit one in and drove, driven it right over. You never came over to my house. Yeah, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I didn't know where you guys were parked, yeah. so I never really came over. But I'm going with Type Beat the King now, actually. I'm going British 911. Grant? British 911. Now we got Don't Sleep on Coke Zero versus Bell of the Ball. I don't remember Bell of the Ball. <laughs> do I? It sounds funny, though. Don't Sleep on Coke Zero, though. It's got just as much flavor as like the actual one. Love this guy. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Everyone, thank you, thank you. Raiden Weaver, Coca Cola. Fuck you, I don't need the sponsorship. I'm Single man in Michigan, Graydon Weaver, everybody. <laughs> Independently wealthy. Wow. <laughs> See, even back then, I was telling you that I loved you. Yeah. I said I love this guy. I actually proclaimed it to the audience. I didn't even say it directly to you. But back then, I loved you and was so proud of you. I feel like you have a lot to be proud of. Thanks, man. This is actually helping a lot. I had a, I'm having a rather low self-esteem day. Oh, no, I could tell. Yeah. I could tell. And I hate when that happens to you because you don't deserve it. You deserve <laughs> to have only high self-esteem days. You yeah. deserve to be filled to the brim with confidence. I think, honestly, you usually exude that. Yeah. And I hate to see you not exude it because <laughs> yeah. that brightness does a lot for other people. But, I mean, honestly, for you, I wanted to do something for you as well. So. You deserve that. Thanks, man. Yeah, so she was sleeping on Coke Zero in this <laughs> yeah. TikTok, using it as a pillow. And that was like a funny little video we watched. And then you said, don't sleep on Coke Zero, which is brilliant. And you were single. What? I said single man in, in Michigan. Oh, you did? 
Yeah. Yeah. So you must have been single at the time. Oh, yeah. It was old. I mean, I also looked strung out, too. I think I was on it. You were on it? I was on the stuff. What stuff? Well, you're on stuff now. So it just was it different stuff. Yeah, but I'm on the good shit now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We were a little broke back then. Yeah, I was on that too. street shit. I remember we made that TikTok video. We were like, this is going to blow up. <laughs> yeah. we TikTok were, is huge. We were like, right TikTok? Now. I mean, if we make a video about TikTok, we are going to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and it did like really bad. Yeah, look but where we're at now, though. Look where we're at now, though. We're on TikTok now. Yeah, we're on TikTok. But don't hit me up anymore. Yeah, he's not single anymore. And I'm on that good shit now. Yeah. Hey, I love you too, by the way, man. I meant to say that earlier. Thanks. It's the first time you ever said that. No problem. My haircut used to be like big on the sides like that, straight on the in the top. It looked bell like head. a big old bell. That's right. Ah. Well, nobody called me that, but I did in the mirror every day. It's bell head, bell head, stupid bell head. <laughs> nobody likes you. So when you played soccer, you were the bell of the ball. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe for that. I can't believe Ben used to look like that. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Then what happened? Did he get plastic surgery? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he's gotten some work done. He looks so good now. It's like tough to believe that that's him. Yeah, he looks like a hot guy now. Not that he was like a hideous monster there. Right. But he looks like a doofus. And it looks like he borrowed his dad's shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, dude, I'm going to a YouTube channel today. Could I wear it? Here, son. This is a nice polo. <laughs> Patagonia. <laughs> it's green. Yeah. Green's a good color. It's not too either way. It's not too either way. It's a mix of the Republican and the Democratic Party. No, that's red and blue make purple, man. Exactly. <laughs> green and purple look exactly the same to me. <laughs> that's not good. It's funny. It's whatever. That's not good. You might be colorblind. The only time it messes me up is when I'm pouring up walkie. You can't tell the difference between green and purple? And you don't want that green. No, you don't want that green. It'll send you straight to sleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, that's like a whatever joke who gives a shit. Don't sleep on Coke Zero is great. Sure. I don't really like either of these. Don't sleep on Coke Zero is so good. It's kind of funny. You need to exude confidence. Oh. Self-esteem. I used to be so much funnier. No, see, that's not even the right way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these next two are also both you. Really? Lunch was bad today versus lifetime doctor's appointment. I think I got a solid guess, but I don't know shit from a sandwich, so. <laughs> yeah, lunch was bad today. <laughs> That's all I got to say. That one's good because it's on the fly, too. And it's not like a traditional one-liner. No. Like, it didn't have a setup, and then, it, like, it did, but yeah. it was that you can tell it was an accident. Yeah. Like, you said something, and then you made a joke about what you had just said. <laughs> Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's like TV writing. <laughs> yeah. Like, so yeah, lunch was bad today. <laughs> that's good. I love it. Great job, man. Thanks, man. And I You're love you. You're hilarious, and um, I love you. Yeah, I love you too, man. You're strong. Thanks. Mentally. And physically. No. And physically. And physically. And physically. <laughs> and physically. <laughs> I got a lifetime doctor's appointment because I'm sick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That is badass, too. Yeah. Both of these are great. Yeah, Both these are pretty really good. good. I think I like Lifetime Doctor's Appointment, like, <laughs> slightly more. It is a little funnier. Yeah, the lunch was bad today is just kind of like, ah, I'm kind of torn. They're both great. Yeah, I think I'm going to let Grant decide. Give me Doctor's Appointment. Okay. That's a close one, though. Yeah. yeah that's tight. Yeah. Now we got Mask Era versus Can't Sell a Bit. You know, it's crazy how the government can just make up a virus, and all of a sudden we're in Mask Era. <laughs> <laughs> We are filming this in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny now. <laughs> we were not filming it in 2020. Yeah, no. That's the best part about it is that this is like in, it might have been 2022. Yeah. I think it was. Like I came up with the joke so late yeah. that I couldn't. You had to time you know, stamp I had it. to time stamp it somewhere else. I also, for that joke, am playing an anti-vaxxer. Like I'm playing somebody who is skeptical of, of the government coming up with it. Oh, whatever. when's that bit going to end? Oh, no, I know. I've been playing that character for three years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, really, I mean, you have another YouTube channel devoted to it. Um, yeah, but I love doing characters. I have multiple YouTube channels for tons of different characters on each yeah. side of the aisle. Sometimes I come up with a character on one side and one character on the other, and I make them shake hands in the aisle. What is happening? I do a Republican character, and then I do a liberal character, and I make them shake hands in the aisle to inspire change. Inspire unity. Yeah. Inspire compromise. I got it. Yeah. I love that one, though. I think it's some of my best wordplay of all time. I'm not gonna really? Lie. Mask era, makeup a virus. It's pretty good. I mean, it's like a one for one, but yeah. it's, 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 it's tight. It's tight. I don't think I've been funny ever since I stopped having sex. It's it's like, a, you know, I can't, I can't sell a bit. 
<laughs> That's kind of something you would say. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know we were getting a quad echo one in here because we did disqualify his bars of the day because we thought they would dominate the bracket too hard. I, that is not why I disqualified him. I just disqualified him because they're music. He's a music man. Because he's music? Yeah, he's music. <laughs> and we're joke. He's also joke. Oh. He's mostly music. Yeah. He's better music than joke. Way better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is pretty good. It's a yeah. solid foray. I remember I cut it out of that video, but then I read him a verse that I recorded for an unreleased Queef Jerky song. But I don't know if it'll ever come out. I think it's just me and Nick on the song. And my whole verse is like puns like that, like stuff about celibacy and whatever. And I read that to him afterwards and he was like, oh, no way. Great minds think alike. And I feel like brought us so close. Wow. Weird joke. Quadeca's music. Nick is joke music. Joke music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going mascara easily. Yeah, same. Sorry, Ben. Benjamin Lasky's down in the comments, please. Yeah, drop a Benjamin Lasky in the comments. <laughs> All right, now we got Forgetful Grizzly versus K-Cup. Oh, I like both these. Forgetful Grizzly. Forgetful Grizzly. This bears repeating. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. That one's like a, I don't even know what it is. It's like an old poem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a riddle. Yeah, yeah. it's good. <laughs> I love that. It's like something someone on the street would say to John Mulaney. Yeah. You know? <laughs> this guy came up and he said, and I quote, forgetful grizzly, forgetful grizzly, this bear's repeating. And then he <laughs> spun around in a red trench coat and disappeared into the water drain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like someone who would do cocaine. <laughs> He's a monster. I don't think so. I think he just cheated on his wife. He's really good at stand-up. He did a lot of drugs, which is kind of cool. It's not, like, cool to be addicted to drugs, but right. I'm saying, like, John Mulaney with no edge. Like, he's, like, your parents' favorite comedian. Then finding out that he was just hooked on drugs, <laughs> doing cocaine and getting his hair cut at SNL. It's, like, kind of awesome to figure out that he was just kind of a lunatic, and especially because he's on the other side of it doing better now. Yeah. That's, that's kind of cool. I don't support either of them. You don't support who? The good or the bad, John. Really? I'm neutral. We used to be like huge fans of him as a Love comedian. the jokes. Yeah. But as a guy, I'm going to touch him with a four foot pole. If he asked to come on the show. <laughs> For clout. For clout? I'd have Donald Trump on the show. You would have Donald Trump on this show. So fast it would make your head spin. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump has done far worse things than John yeah, Mulaney. Yeah, he did the Nilk Boys. Yeah, but that has That's nothing That's way to... worse than us. I'm saying like he's done far worse things than John Mulaney has. John Mulaney cheated on his wife and did drugs. Right, so did Donald Trump. Donald Trump did both of those things, maybe not even drugs. Never even touched alcohol. Yeah, he's a freak. Yeah. And he also <laughs> is like a racist and an asshole. Yep. And a misogynist and yep. all, the whole thing. You can run the whole gambit he's mm. also a great comedian exactly that's my point here so you're saying you would have a great comedian with clout on the show no matter who they are correct chris D'Elia. have him he's not a great comedian and that's where you fail oh, the bad. test he's <laughs> just a bad guy you just want a bad guy on the show <laughs> that's what you want <laughs> if you want to be able to afford a keurig you got to get your cake up K cups. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. That one is pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> because if you don't know, in a, a Keurig machine, it's like a, a coffee machine, the little flavor thing you put in is called mm -hmm. a K cup. Like K Keurig cup, a Keurig mm -hmm. cup, a K yeah. cup. And then get your cake up, like yeah. get your money up. It's not as good as Forgetful Grizzly, though. I agree. There's some sort of, like, mystical energy in yeah. Forgetful <laughs> Grizzly. I feel like Phil Jackson would say it to the Lakers before, like, a... Game five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we got Praying Mantis Sex versus Wide Receiver. <laughs> Oh, God. Praying mantis sex is actually pretty progressive when you think about it. Because yeah. the women always get head. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, that one is good because it's biological. It's like a fact about insects. Uh -huh. and that's cool for you. And also, getting head. You yeah. Know? You know if a praying mantis was the size of a Chrysler Sienna, it could fucking murder you? <laughs> It started out, I thought I was going to learn something, <laughs> but I guess not. Yeah. If a bee was the size of a 747, we'd be in big fucking trouble. <laughs> yeah. None of these are like scientific. <laughs> this is just... If a bear was the size of a Pomeranian, never kill anybody. It'd be cute as hell. Yeah, it was strong. 
not raining in Antarctica. It looks like a little bear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are bears? Cats or dogs? Neither. <laughs> They're bears. What's a parakeet? Bird. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Hooking up with a thick girl. That's a wide receiver. <laughs> really slayed Grant with that one. That's my favorite. <laughs> it built, too, because then we did receiver of what? And then I said penis. Yeah. It did. <laughs> and that was built off of a fan submitted bar? Is yeah. that what that one was from? Yeah. yeah, I think I was trying to help somebody else <laughs> fix their bar. Yeah. By adding in hooking up with a thick girl. <laughs> call that a wide receiver. Yeah. It's all right. It's not praying mantis sex, though. Which, like you said, has elements for everyone. The whole family. I like wide receiver more, and I know that that immediately sends it to the next round because Grant's not picking yeah. against that. Yeah. But it's just funnier <laughs> in the classical sense of, like, in a conversation, if somebody said that with, like, your friends, you'd all laugh. Yeah. If I said the praying mantis sex, no, there'd be a few it. eye rolls at least. <laughs> there might be, like, a, a few laughs, but yeah. generally some eye rolls. But I feel like an eye roll is going to win this bracket. If there are, like, intellectuals in the room, then yes, of course. Like, a science Scientific discovery is a bit of an eye roll for me. I'm like, okay, smarty pants, you figured it out. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I think about my more clever or complex bars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but wide receiver makes the room bust up. You know? <laughs> Grant, what a trend do you vote for? Wide receiver. Yeah. Now we got GOP slash pog versus energy to drink. You know how Republicans are always <laughs> blaming violent acts on video games? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The GOP is like the opposite of pog. You know, <laughs> well, that was good. That was good. Can we can we swap that one in for one of these? <laughs> it's true too. All of that's true, and that's why I like it. How do you mean? The letters backwards are pog. Yes, GOP backwards is pog. And the whole theory of games kind of promoting violence is a conservative theory. So it's all true. Yeah, I don't love the execution of this one because I wish I had said that like the GOP's politics are backwards or something like opposite and backwards are not exactly, I don't know, whatever. That's just like my brain was yeah. kind of like, I could have done that better. But at the same time, I do like it. I like it too. And I like you. I love you. Well, um, you have a lot to be proud of. <laughs> you know what POG stands for? Player of game. Nice. Yeah. I'm not a fucking idiot. I play more video games than you have in your whole life last night. That's true. <laughs> 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 That's why you're so violent. Yeah. Speaking of crushing cans, I used to be a monster, but nowadays I don't even have the energy to drink. <laughs> Just kidding, I do. <laughs> Favorite part about that one is that there's a pontoon boat next to us the whole time. <laughs> Just a picture of a pontoon <laughs> boat. That's true. That's, That's awesome. True. That's one we... of the funniest side-by-sides we've ever had. <laughs> We play a lot of silly games on yeah. this channel, you know? I love the perspective of it, too. It's like a <laughs> long... There's something about that image being on screen is really great. Yeah, the joke there is monster energy drink. Yeah. I used to be a monster, now I don't have the energy to drink. I like it, but I think GOP Pog is just more impressive. It is more impressive, but... Yeah. I, yeah. You're right. GOP. Okay. Yeah. You know what Pog stands for? I don't. I... Fat-ass white girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did more of those than you have in your whole life last night. Wow. <laughs> that is filthy. I didn't. I didn't even have sex last Ugh, night. I promise. Yuck. I promise. I don't care. I promise to stop having sex the night before videos. Let me taste it then. I know it ruins my mood. I get too, I come in too confident. You said I had too much dick swinging energy in the last video. <laughs> I didn't say that, dude. You did. I'm just happy. You said you came in here all macho, dick swinging, swinging that big dick of yours around. <laughs> I'm and just I happy want you're getting you to stop. laid. I want you to stop having sex the night before videos. Just happy you're getting laid, man. Why? Because now you're done fucking with everyone else in your life. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now we got bartender with acne versus Drake. One of my favorites here. Drake? No. <laughs> oh. You know, I know this amateur bartender with acne. He's insecure about his pores. <laughs> wash, wash, wash. <laughs> When Nick doesn't know what to do, he just yeah. acts stuff out. He just has like a physical comedy instinct. <laughs> I love that one. Because I feel like he kind of had to know me as a bartender to even develop that bit. Mm -mm. Yeah, he did. Why? And you loved me. I, I, I love you still. Yeah. And I loved you when you were a bartender. Yeah. But I've met other bartenders. <laughs> you wish, man. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Said he was going to slide with the Drake. It was all talk. There's nothing to see. 2C. 2C slide. With the Drake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one should be called 2C slide, I think, instead yeah. of Drake. Yep. I'm going to change that. Ow. Oh, sorry. 
What are you doing? I'm going to change it. Oh, you're changing it right now. Yeah, 2C slide. I'm going to change it to that. I like it. Because it's I, the punchline. Because also Drake, like, I don't know. Drake could be anything. I probably made like 50 different jokes about Drake. That's true. All out of love for him as an artist, out of respect. Is there an artist named Wraith? Wraith. Isn't that a great name <laughs> for like a rapper? It's the name of a car. Right. It's also like a name for like an evil thing. Oh, a wraith. Yeah. A wraith in the night. Ooh. Like a wraith in the night. <laughs> <laughs> You want to go street wraithing after this? <laughs> Wanted you to wraith my mind. Um, it's bartender for me pretty easily. Yeah, it's bartender. But to explain that Drake one, um, <laughs> was going to slide with the Drake. It was all talk. There was nothing to see. Oh. Margarine for error versus effigy. Ooh. I mean, do you use, do you use either of these? I don't think so. I know you, I mean, I'm, I'm sitting next to you, I can tell. I use unsalted butter. <laughs> I saw it online. Eh, I don't know. It's, it was supposed to work. I feel like the margarine for error there is pretty tough. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. That is old. Tim Hortons, too. That means, yeah, that was like when you lived next to Tim Hortons. That's when people thought we lived in Canada because yeah. we were drinking Tim Hortons in the videos. The mic is like over here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a cup on the table, which is just unprofessional bullshit. Right. No. Our hairs are long. Yeah, my hair is in ponytails. Most people call or them piggy tails. Pigtails. Why don't they call like a curly Q hairdo a pigtail? I know. There's nothing. Yeah, what is a pig? That's not a pigtail. A pig doesn't have two tails. Yeah, what the fuck? What well, is up with Wait that? a minute. Why do they call them pigtails? <laughs> I don't know. That makes no sense. Yeah, I do like that you've been doing wordplay for 17 years. Yeah, I've been doing it my whole life, Yeah, which is much longer than 17 years. I guess. But I was surprised to see it show up in the video unedited, like how we did it back then. Yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't know I did this one way back then. Yeah. But margarine being used as the word margin is just like a little bit played out. It's like whatever. Yeah. Like anybody can do that joke, you yeah. know? You know, my new girlfriend does voodoo. Oh, yeah? She's trying to effigy. <laughs> 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 the silent That's wiggity good. wiggity woo. We haven't done that in so long. No, it's not. I love no. you. Oh, I love you too, man. It's just not a good time. Just for one it. for them. It's not a good time for it. I'll okay. do it later. In this video, though? Yes. Okay. I like it more than margarine. Yeah, me too. Now we got filibuster <laughs> versus tongue twister. I love these ones. Like filibuster, but like Filipinas. Mm -hmm. I'll filibuster with some rounds <laughs> if you try if he tries me. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a guy. Don't ever cross me, all right? All right, nope, we're, this isn't being, nope. Shout out Gabby Bell. Shout out Gabby. That is so funny to do to Gabby Bell. Yeah. For some reason, because she's just so sweet yeah. and little. Yeah, very tiny person. Very Don't ever small. cross me. Don't ever cross me, all right? I wish I executed that a little differently, too. Oh, yeah? Like, keep talking so much, I'm going to fill a buster with some rounds. Oh, yeah, if he keep talking. Yeah, keep talking to me, uh, I'm going to yeah. fill a buster with rounds. If you had said it, uh, yeah, I feel you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just, I've always, I go back and I watch that tape constantly. No, you don't. <laughs> and I, I think to myself, fact, you do not. I, I'm drawing circles and where could I have pulled the tackle and, you know, open up a different lane. And it's kind of like how I assume Pete Carroll looks at that Super Bowl where he passed the ball instead of ran it. He shouldn't have been on the field in general. He's the coach. <laughs> he is old, too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of spunk for an old guy. Yeah, but. totally. He's sexy. Yeah, he's kind of hot. It's a weird thing, but all of our girlfriends want to fuck Pete Carroll. Yeah. And that's just something. <laughs> We have to all think of about. our girlfriends. I mean, like all of our collective <laughs> girlfriends, like us guys who watch football with our girlfriends. If we're watching the Seahawks, they are fantasizing about Pete Carroll's cock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just are. Yeah. Sally sells bullshit down by the stupid shit shore. Now call that a tongue twister. But last week I had my tongue in your sister. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Dude. Hell yeah. You are so different in person. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a one-liner. It's just a rhyme. Yeah, it's just rhyming. It's just rhyming. I like oh. Sally sells shit down by the shit shore. <laughs> yeah. I bet you do. You said it. So. It's funny as fuck you ever said that. <laughs> yeah, whoever, <laughs> whoever wrote that, sorry. The whoever, writers that day were on wrote, one. The writers? The writers were on one. And now they're telling me to do this, so. Our writers are on strike. <laughs> I can't come up here and talk for this long. I still have my writers. Where? They, they work remotely. They, they can't be on site. Okay. I'm not saying we should end the strike outright, but I wish they'd soften it up a bit. Like, I don't need, like, a concrete script. Like, if I just get, like, multiple choices, 
You know, like if I saw a line, I could pick it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd say keep it going. Whatever. We don't have writers and we never have, so it does not affect me. Oh, I got a writer gallon of Patron when I show up at the club. Mine's just Chex Mix. Yeah, I know. And cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Numbing agent. Filibuster for me. Filibuster for me as well. Sorry, Nick. Now we got lasagna versus mail come in the middle. Now stealing pasta is all fun and games until the law's on you. <laughs> lasagna. Mondays. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> he was on one. A little Garfield joke at the end. Yeah. yeah. What is a beatboxing in the beginning? <laughs> it's, it's funny. I don't I think know. he's doing a freak on a leash maybe thing. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Here's one thing. I love this one, but then I realized that I had been misunderstanding the Lil Wayne bar my entire life. Really? Yeah. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. How do you misunderstand that? Like, I just, I didn't realize that he was saying lasagna. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Oh, I gotcha. I didn't realize that either. I, I thought never, it was just a lasagna reference. Yeah, I thought it was just a lasagna joke, and then I realized that that is what he is saying. He's saying, like, you have to move in silence when the law's on you. Oh, so you've stolen from Wayne twice now. But that was completely, like, brilliant minds think alike. Like, the other one was that? intentional? The other one wasn't intentional, but I don't think I set out to say that in that video. Yeah. I think I just, like, came up with it and said it. This one I had written in my phone and was like, I'm a genius. And it turns out I am, but... but so is Lil Wayne. So is Lil Wayne, and right. we kind of like connected in a way, mm -hmm. and like brilliant minds think alike. Like when people say that, they're talking about like me and Lil Wayne. And I got case. it, man. Messy threesome, male come in the middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Listen, it's not. A, it's gross, of course. <laughs> Oh, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks, but I think there's charm in saying the worst ones that you come up with. Because then yeah. you know that my brain just works like that to come up with You gotta just shit. say them. And you just have bad ones that you have to say. Again, a hilarious side-by-side -side there, though. <laughs> yeah. It's just Malcolm in the Middle's family. <laughs> While you're saying a messy threesome is male cum <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. Presumably in the middle of the other two participants. Yep. That's what I was thinking. I Which was is thinking just weird. Side by side, two women. Yeah. In oh. this case. Okay. I, this is what I was imagining. Sure, I'm just yeah. being honest. Yeah. No, oh, that's fine. Okay, there's a guy. Not me. It's another guy. Okay, even weirder. And two women. And there's male come in the middle of these two women. Right. Which would be his <laughs> jizz. <It's in> <laughs> I get what comes, them, dog. And I'm thinking, like, they kind of... They're stuck together. They separate and, like, yeah. there's a little bit on each of them and mm -hmm. maybe, like, a string in between them like this. Yikes. That's what I was imagining at the time. <laughs> I mean, you did not have Frankie to do that. Muniz and Ooh, Brian, Brian Prince were on screen together. And what was his big-eared little brother's name? Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> Too it's gross. lasagna, and I don't want any more of this picture painted. Okay. And leave it unfinished. All right. Next, we got second degree murder versus Sylvester still alone. <laughs> <laughs> Both good ones. Grad school is killing me. Call that second degree murder. Second degree grad school. <laughs> I love that one. I love it too. It's just a tweet. I'm just telling you something that I tweeted. Oh, that I, makes it less for you? No, I love it. But oh. I just, I mean, it's not like delivered like a bar would be That's true. on the channel normally. Yeah. Like I'm just reciting something that I tweeted. We could do, we could do, I want to do it now. You want to do it now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to need some oomph, though. Okay. I'm going to need some pizzazz. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we do, we do, we do, we do, we <laughs> Bringing it back. Okay. Let's see Sylvester still alone. What the hell? <laughs> Sylvester still on. And I'm Sylvester still alone. <laughs> It's good. It's yeah. good delivery. It's there was a, yeah, that was good delivery. Fantastic yeah. yeah. delivery, yeah. That's Very why I, it made me think I was probably single still. I don't know. I can't remember. Blurred out album covers? No, that was color palette. Color palette? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when did we ever? We've never done blurred out. <laughs> when did we do old blurred out novel covers? <laughs> it's hard for me to tell when we actually started dating, too. Well, I had just gotten you that jacket for your birthday. Oh, true. That was not this past year, but the year before that. So you guys were not dating. You guys had not met yet, yeah. but you guys were talking. Yeah. We're in the talking phase. Talking phase. <laughs> so you were still alone physically, in some ways yeah. and physically. And even. emotionally. I think on actual wordplay, I like second degree murder more. But Me too. But the moment on screen, Sylvester still alone is better. But I'm going to try and keep it technical now. I know I favored comedy earlier. Oh, okay. And I'm going to go with second degree murder. Switching the style up. I just think bits, you know, all about the comedy. If they hate, then let them hate and let the money pile up. Don't quote him. 50 Cent? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll go second degree murder. All right, semantics versus inmate slash judge relationship. You know how I've been going down to the college bars recently? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love partying with the English majors. You know, they're always getting into semantics. <laughs> I love that one. Semantics. Yeah. Semantics. Yeah. English. Words. English, yeah. It's awesome. I'm not actually doing that, by the way. Dude, chill. I don't no, go down no to college is, bars. Or, we don't even have a college bar. We do really. have college bars. Like, what bar is a college bar? There's no university, like, big enough within 40 I, miles. I go to that one restaurant near Wayne State that is connected to a bar, and that is a college bar. Third Street? No, it's like a little deli counter, and then there's a door connecting uh, it to another bar, and that bar is full of college co-eds. I, whoa. <laughs> it's full of co-eds. Yikes. People in varsity jackets and what and the like. <laughs> Yikes. So I don't I don't go there. I don't get drinks there. I don't do none of that. Remember the age when you were like maybe just going into college and you would see college age people in public and you'd just think to yourself that they were grown folks? Yeah, and now I look at them and think they're children. I'm like, how the fuck are they getting served? <laughs> like who what kind of crazy bartender is serving jello shots and lemon drops to these 13 year olds? <laughs> yeah. It's really weird how time does that to you. Yeah. I don't know really even the direct explanation for that, but at one point I was like, oh, when I'm in college, I'll look just like an adult. Like all the other adults in college, like yeah. all the grown people in college. Yeah. And now they just are children. Yeah, but then like the football players, they all look like they're Hot. 30. Oh, right. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like they're like these grown big yeah. guys. And I'm like, some Whoa, of them. How but I mean, how are those guys next to these? There are boys in yeah. college who look like they are 14. <laughs> right. Me. And then there's yeah. these guys who are like look older than me. Yeah, it's weird. It's odd. Do you about the death row inmate who started dating the judge? <laughs> no. I asked him what he saw in her, and he said, She gives me life. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You think that relationship's ever existed? Yeah, has to. Really? I mean, my dad's friend went to jail for over 20 years. Yeah. And when he got out, he was dating the warden. I mean, that is impressive. I mean, think of the riz you got to have. Oh, I know. To be like, I'll be out in 15 years, and I'm going to fuck you. I mean, or... What? You don't think they fucked before he got out? Where'd he go? Her office? Or'd they get in the cell? <laughs> <laughs> Or like you go into the showers one day and the warden's dressed up in a prison outfit, like, and you're like, <laughs> that's awesome. I, oof. I'm starting to regret making this joke. I like it, man. I love, I love love. I know, but that's like a real person that I'm talking about. And now I'm like, oh, who cares? I bring up real people all the time on this. Yeah, that's true. All the time. <laughs> Sometimes I get nervous when videos come out because I'm like, <laughs> hope they don't see it. <laughs> Once people tie all these strings together, I'll be revealed as someone who doesn't really respect others' privacy. <laughs> Yeah, when it's all said and done, you will be remembered as somebody who did not understand boundaries. Um, easy. Oh, yeah, shit. See, and this is what I'm talking about. Ha, -ha yeah. The writers gave me that one. It's semantics for me here. Yeah, semantics. It's close, though. It is very close. That was a good matchup. Now we got Eurocentric slash They're Not Heroes <laughs> versus Shish Kebab. Oh, one of my favorite collabs we've ever done. <laughs> it's a little bit of a Eurocentric point of view on the universe as, as a whole. Yeah. yeah. When I get hungry in Greek town, I'm a little Eurocentric. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're called heroes. That, well, they make my food. They're not heroes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not UPS. <laughs> it's a back and forth. It's like one liner, one liner, one liner. Eurocentric, it was funny the way you were using that. <laughs> yeah. Because you've always just used Eurocentric as self centered yeah. in any way. It's right. not about it being actually Eurocentric. Yeah. I turned that into Eurocentric about the food, mm -hmm. and then you teed me up <laughs> by, by changing the pronunciation <laughs> of Euro to hero, where I said they're not heroes, they're they just, just make our food. Which is again kind of a reference to 2020. Whereas, like, our food service workers are our heroes. Heroes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Calling everybody a hero in yeah. 2020 was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I also like that Euro's going up against Shish Kebab. <laughs> Me too, I just noticed one. that. That boy at Shish Kebab, he had chicken with the stick. <laughs> <laughs> that Rolling Loud, I get a little PTSD when I see clips from there. Why? Oh, God, what a hot place. Oh, it was hot. But so hot. That year was fun, though. Yeah. Because <laughs> we did do... Yeah. Yeah. We... <laughs> At future set. God, that was nice. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I'll be with future, but I like to reminisce. Hey, 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 hey. What the hell? That was enough. That was enough. <laughs> that I thought we did enough. You well, you'll cut it. You'll cut enough. it. You'll cut it. I don't think you fed in. <laughs> okay. Enough, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, hey. You seem hey. so nervous. I'm hey, like, hey, I'm not nervous. I'm just... I owe, I freaking out. I owe, I owe a lot of money. To whom? Took a loan out under the business's name last night. Really? How much? <laughs> 
four. For what? Hundred. Hundred. Million. Million. Yeah. yeah. Damn. We got a lot of money right now. No, it's gone. It's I, gone already. I gambled it. What? On Ronda Rousey. And you won. She doesn't. She's retired. <laughs> I don't even know why it was in the book. Oh, I think you said a round of Rousey. Of Ra- <laughs> Let's play another round of Rousey. I was like, oh, I don't know much about gambling. That must be one of the games. So, you know, I don't know. I've never heard yeah. of it, but yeah. you did our, you gambled it on a round of Rousey. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I go Eurocentric. Easily. Here. Yeah. The shish kebab one is, called, you know, chicken on a stick, chicken with the stick. It's great. You know, it's, it's good. It's good. I feel like because I'm not at the desk, I don't, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> It doesn't hit. Something feels wrong about it. And you have the prop there with you, so yeah, it's not like all oh, me too. I hate prop If comedy. I could string carrot top up by his toes in the public square and rip his nipples off like attach little things to him and back of my car and drive away kind of thing yeah i would probably do it i totally feel you man last one in the first round we've got ultimate frisbee versus smallpox (laughs) you know the other day it was super humid i went out to toss disc that day my hair had the ultimate frisbee (laughs) oh come on there we go there we go Ben's support is unwavering. <laughs> he, lo- he is so easily entertained. <laughs> no, no, no. He is not. You don't think so? No. He and I have the same thing where someone, if they say a bar, he'll like correct it. He's done it to me. Where like there's a certain way shit's supposed to work yeah. in the brain. Like a certain things have to rhyme a certain way or whatever be connected. He will like nitpick things, which is why his support does mean something to me. When he does say that it's a good one, I'm like, oh, okay. That's nice, man. You guys really have something special. And because his bars of the day are always so complex that it makes me feel like... Inadequate. Yeah, a little uh, little bit. Emasculated. Uh, Not emasculated. I just think like... Broke. He's a rapper, so his get to be super complex, and mine are simple, and I'm so proud of myself for the simple ones that then when I hear him do a complex one, I'm like, oh, well, that's better than anything I've ever done. Yeah. It's like, Sorry, buddy. It's like my album from the perspective of a ghost. Just like, I don't know, I guess it didn't go far enough into metaphor. I don't know. I was doing like a Phoebe Bridgers modern baseball sort of thing with it. Yeah. But either way, I played more into the Halloween ghost sort of thing. I was doing a lot of, whoa, yeah. on there. <laughs> and in retrospect, it kind of took not, away from the theme. It's not as artful. It's not as artful, yeah. His was more complex, and that's why I agreed. I finally gave in and admitted that his album was better than mine. And that was brave of me to do. <laughs> self Good job, buddy. <laughs> That's what I call these mumble rappers nowadays. Smallpox. <laughs> it's not great. No. Because there's no other pref. Like, if it had something to do with disease, like, it mumble is, rap's yeah. a disease, I'm calling all these new rappers smallpox. Yeah, yeah. That's way better. Yeah, or something to do with blankets. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. Yeah, it could have been blankets. Yeah. I know this is kind of a blanket statement. But all these new rappers are smallpox. Yeah. See, it's good that we can workshop now because, like, that's why we should watch more game film, I think, is yeah. because we could go back and fix old bits, yeah. repurpose them. To me, I like the imperfections of things in the past, Ooh. and I wouldn't want to alter anything, especially when it's something that's happened in our relationship, because everything that's happened has led me to have this unwavering respect and love for you. And if we change those things, who knows, my head might have gotten too bloated too early on. That's true. And I might not even have the perspective to see not only you for who you are, but myself. God bless the broken road. Let me stray to you. <laughs> Someone's subwoofer is going crazy outside. <laughs> no, the same song. Yeah. <laughs> Bless the broken. <laughs> Let me straight to. Ultimate Frisbee wins, but I don't even like that one, so. I like it. Ultimate Frisbee is a sport. <laughs> you play with a disc. It's done with the first round. We're done playing clips. It's time for the second round. Sacrilegious versus Playground. Oh, Playground. I think Playground is better wordplay, but Sacrilegious is a better moment on the channel. That's true, but I'm going, like I said, I'm sticking to like the academics here. Okay. Which one is the best one-liner? And I understand that the channel is kind of set up to root against me. Like, like I think- You it, set the channel up. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm self-deprecating. It it's sick. self-deprecating humor. It but I'm you saying- You have so much to be proud of. Why thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying like a lot of people are going to be upset that sacrilegious loses this round. Oh, sure. But I want them to reflect on their own bias. <laughs> right. And say, if you saw them written on a piece of paper, which one would you pick? As a one-liner <laughs> written on a piece of paper, you don't know who wrote it, 
It's just two <laughs> it's blind. Two pieces of paper yeah. with the stuff on it. I think you guys would pick playground. Yeah. But because one of them is said by me, mm-hmm. that's the one that they think should lose. I think it's just because ultimately my face is a little more likable. You have yeah. a lot more to like on the inside, which I think is hard for those via the camera to get a good grasp on. And that's why when we were shooting these videos, it's just you and me and Grant in a room, baby. It's all I think about. But also, I mean, it is me talking and expressing myself the whole time, and that seems to get people rubbed the wrong way too. <laughs> so what is the thing that they like? Yeah. That is the inside. I'm just putting <laughs> mm-hmm. that outside and they don't like that. <laughs> so it's a lot to chew on something to chew on. I do you think I have a lot to be proud of, though? You do. <laughs> Thank you. You have the Vivian chain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now we got Hyperbully versus Arkansas Little Rock. I mean, it's Arkansas Little Rock. Noah smoking crack. Yeah, Noah Come smoking on. crack. Come on. It's right. one of the best visuals in any of these. That's true. That's true. It does paint a picture. Yeah. All right, Dead Ass versus Celtics. I think the timing of Dead Ass is better, but the wordplay of Celtics is better. That's true. I think the wordplay is good enough in Dead Ass because it has great setup. Yeah. It's great timing. Yeah, I think it beats Celtics. Dead Ass. And I hate to vote for myself. Yeah, I know. You Even don't though, have the option to do it as much in this bracket because one-liners are pretty me-heavy, mm-hmm. but the bits are usually pretty you-heavy. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're voting for ourselves the whole time. These one-liners wouldn't even hit if you weren't sitting there. Ugh. What do you mean? It's just getting too romantic for me. It's not romantic. Well, yeah, too. I just trying it's to build too up, personal. trying to build up that self-esteem of yours, man, because like, I am defeated. We're not even playing a game today. How could you be defeated? I always lose. I think you win the comedy battle like 90% of the time. <laughs> The only reason I win the comedy battle is because I'm so sad. Everybody knows a sad comedian's the best. Well, yeah, but you're making something beautiful out of the sadness. You're like that gnome you were talking about. Oh, you God. can make flowers bloom. Oh, I wish I was a gnome. I wish I was shorter. No, you don't. I had a beard and a little hat. You were so proud of your height. It's one of the things I am proud of. <laughs> <laughs> Telepathy <laughs> versus Drillbit Taylor. It's Drillbit Taylor. Again, I'm going to vote for myself, <laughs> which I said I don't like doing, but it, if we're talking wordplay here, yeah. I guess I'm voting for myself either way here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a collaborative, but Drillbit Taylor's better. Yeah. yeah. That one's just solid. OJ Simpson versus Subtleties. Oh, see, I do fall victim. I like the ones here a little better. The roar of the crowd's great. Subtleties is pretty good. I'll say right now, I think OJ Simpson is like 10 times better. It's yeah. just like wordplay. Like it's just a better put together one liner. I agree. You know, Arnold Palmer versus Paula Abdul. Arnold Palmer for me. The visual of the tea going through the air. Yeah. And then landing in the lemonade. Uh Uh-huh. Boom, Arnold Palmer. I hear the clink. I can hear the clink at night, too. I just hear those voices and the guards walking up and down the rows. Lights out! Where's the warden? We can't find her anywhere. (laughs) 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 Yeah, I go Arnold Palmer, yeah. As much as I don't want to pronounce Arnold anymore. Why is that hard for you? I don't know. Arnold. Arnold. (laughs) Why are you giving up on it? Arnold. Arnold. All nerd. All nerd. Arnold. Diplo versus Shoegaze. I feel like there's an upset here. I think Diplo is better. I do too. Like Shoegaze is more iconic. I feel like people really liked that one because it it's, does, edgy. It's, it's edgier. It's funnier. Yeah. Again, that tact we were talking about. Again, yeah, yeah. Um, but Major Laser making Diplo is hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's just good. It. It's that laughy tacty too, you know? What? Don't. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't do that. Shake that laffy tacky. <laughs> oh, no. Diplo, yeah. Miller and Mackin versus Jack Antonoff of Bleachers. Come on. Jacking off. Man, jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that one's just fun. Period. Jack Antonoff used to uh, be yeah, a band. Fun. fun. Yeah, he was in fun. Sea and Enemies, British 9-11. Sea and Enemies. Yeah, Sea and Enemies. Fine. You don't like British 9-11. I get it. <laughs> All right, there comes another plane. It's November. Oh, no, there comes another plane. It's about to hit Big Ben. <laughs> Madame, another aircraft has hit Big Ben. All right, don't sleep on Coke Zero versus Lifetime Doctor's Appointment. Lifetime Doctor's Appointment. It's funnier. Sick as fuck. That's better than just pointing out someone sleeping on Coke Zero. You say don't sleep on Coke Zero, and then you say it has the same flavor. Like, you're explaining why you shouldn't sleep on Coke Zero. <laughs> right. It has all the flavor Again, of regular yeah. Coke with no calories. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I go don't sleep on Coke Zero. All right, Grant, what do you go? I'll take uh, don't sleep on Coke Zero. Okay. They're both me anyway, so fuck off. All right. Mask Era versus Forgetful Grizzly. God, as much as I love Forgetful Grizzly, the makeup of Iris in our Mask Era, but I'll never forget that Grizzly. That shit is strong. Yeah, you've moved on to Zins now. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 
Played your best round of golf in your entire life with a long cut in. Big time. 74? Yeah. Wow. Two under on the back. Two under on the back nine. I mean, That's God crazy. damn, you have a lot to be proud of. Thank you. Um, It's close for me. There is, like I said, that mystical energy around Forgetful yeah. Grizzly. It is structured like no other one-liner that I've told. It's true. It's written like it could be in a joke book from the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> and Mask Era is really, it is 2020. I like it, though. I go Forgetful Grizzly. I go Mask Era. Mask Era. Yeah, Forgetful Grizzly is a little corny, now that I'm thinking about it, but it, sometimes you got to go there to make yeah, that joke. it's awesome. Know? Wide receiver versus GOP slash Pog. I know you guys are going wide receiver. I'm going GOP. Wide receiver is just, like, nasty. It's a yeah. nasty locker room joke. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll go GOP. <laughs> Sorry. Bartender with acne versus effigy. Ooh, it's effigy. It's bartender with acne for me. Okay. Big time. I mean, that's just a better joke. Is she trying to effigy? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. Bartender with acne is a proper setup. Yeah, that's a real joke. Yeah. <laughs> effigy is fine. I'm not like trying to fully discredit it, but bartender with acne is just better. You're right. All right, filibuster versus lasagna. I gotta go with filibuster just due to the Lil Wayne thing being pointed out. It's an interpolation. I understand, but it's just the same thing. <laughs> all right, already the show so goes on, all right. right. You like that song? I do. <laughs> it's an interpolation of Modest Mouse. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I backed my car into a cop car the other day. I like your bet. Which one? The Laws on you. I like it. Thanks. But I don't filibuster with Gabby Bell's hilarious moment. I wish it was executed better. Yeah, no, filibuster's better. I just wanted to, like, defend my interpolation because I, I don't want to get into a lawsuit or You're anything. You're going to have to do that in court anyway, so. Ugh, I'll just filibuster. <laughs> Second degree murder, semantics. Oh, both educational, kind of academic ones here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Semantics is one of my favorites. I like second degree murder more. Really? But only written on paper, not how I said it in the video. Like, I would have been like, ugh, grad school's killing me. Call that second degree murder. And that would have been fine. Yeah. If your reaction was like hearing it for the first time, then maybe you would have been like, whoa, how'd you come up with that? Or maybe you'd go like, oh, brother. You know? I don't think I'd something, react like, something that. like that. Either way. I think maybe you would have. Yeah. Grant, which one is it? I like second degree murder. All right. Last one in this round. Eurocentric versus ultimate frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> It's Eurocentric. I think the second half of it is the reason. Right. Yeah, I don't know, though. Actually, I think I'm going to go Ultimate Frisbee. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a classic, like, stupid one-liner, but it just, like, works for me. I feel more proud of it. You just like saying B. <laughs> ultimate Frisbee? <laughs> I mean, you said dead ass earlier. We can both be from New York for a second if That's we want. That's true. I'm down. Hey, Grant, which one is it, huh? Give me Eurocentric. Mm. It's the better one. Whatever. Fair enough. All right, Sweet 16. Let's go. Playground versus Arkansas Little Rock. Biblical crack smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. The visual's really powering that one through for me, but then it's the Bible Belt aspect that ties it all together. The Ten Crack Commandments. Yeah. Um, I feel like Playground is a little bit smoother, but Arkansas Little Rock is, like, more impressive of a thought. <laughs> I'm going to go with Playground. Okay. Grant? Arkansas Little Rock. Yes. Okay. It's just a fan favorite. Deadass versus Drillbit Taylor. Drillbit Taylor is way more impressive. Yeah, that's true. There's like three things that come together there. Okay, we'll go Drillbit Taylor. OJ Simpson versus Arnold Palmer. The Simpson. They're both drinks, which is funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally, the drinks have come head to head. And I do love the you painting a golf story, but OJ Simp. Sun. Yeah, kill for a glass of orange juice. Yeah. yeah. That one's kind of close, though. It is. Now we've got Diplo versus Jack Antonoff of Bleachers. Now that's funny, because these are just, this is like musicians. two musicians yeah. going against each other, too. I go with your Jack and Off. Yeah, Ant Jack and Off. Definitely funnier. It's more clever on a few more layers. Mm -hmm. Diplo's great, but it's just a little... It's one dimensional. Yeah, it's so short. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree with that. Sometimes one can benefit from being short, but that one's just kind of sh short and not benefiting from it. Yeah, there are short kings and then there's, you know, short, short assholes. assholes. Yeah. <laughs> I tweeted about this too, but if anyone out there has a male friend who is 5'7 and conventionally handsome who starts working out, it is your job to stop them before they turn into a monster. <laughs> Thank you. You ever seen a short jacked guy? Yeah, I don't like it. The confidence that they get from that, mm -mm -mm. they just run around touching people. Yeah, buzzing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Their arms are all big. Their chest is all puffed out. And it's usually a tall girl. Yeah, they'll and, do push-ups in the bar. Yeah, and she's like, hey, 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 get down. What's going on down there? That's why I keep a newspaper on me. 
Yeah, Bat him away. Totally. Yeah, I have a spray bottle. Yeah, in my purse. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing enemies versus don't sleep on Coke Zero. You hate don't sleep on Coke Zero. No, actually, I think I've come around to it a little bit. Okay, is it gonna win for you? I think so. Yeah, seeing enemies is fine, but like everybody's made that joke. I feel like. Yeah, and then calling people clownfish is you call them clowns. Yeah, but you don't you call ne- people clownfish. <laughs> yeah, you never do. Yeah, that. you don't do that yeah. unless they're a swimmer, of course. Sure. Mask arrow versus GOP slash pog. Mask arrow is like really picking up steam for me. Yeah, mask arrow is way better than GOP pog, I think. Mostly because I didn't even really pick up on the makeup part until today. Really? Yeah. So you thought I was just saying mask arrow? Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, that makes it like a stupid joke. I know, I thought I thought it was, yeah. but I just kind of play it cool sometimes. Ah. I'm like, good job, man. That's fucking hilarious. And then I won't get it till literally months later. <laughs> literally. So what you're saying is that like nope, I already I'm know layered it. and like and like I already know where you're going with this and I'm just going to I reveal nah. layers of myself to you over time. No. Nope. And that's what makes me you like me more as as time progresses? No, it's just like I'm checked out, right? And it's only when I like whoop, <laughs> I pop back in mm. and I'm like, "Oh, ma- makeup." So you don't like me more as time goes on? I I, uh, I like you a lot. Okay. <laughs> and I guess as time goes on, I've learned to even love you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so. I just have a hard time, I guess, expressing my feelings. I know. Ever since uh, war. War. <laughs> <laughs> what is ah, don't good sing it. That, absolutely nothing. That makes me sing a PTSD. Sing it again now. Sing it again now. No, I won't. Stop. Sing it again now. <laughs> Bartender with acne versus filibuster. Bartender with acne. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Filibuster. Great moment though. Shout out to Gabby Bell. Big shout out. And uh, bartender with acne. Shout out to you a couple years ago before you got on Lexapro. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing what happiness will do for your skin. It's not really happiness. That's yeah. like, kind of mills you <laughs> yeah. out. It's it's amazing of... what neutrality will do for your skin. No highs, no lows. Yeah. You're just walking down the middle of the street all the time. You never veer. It used to be fun to just drive all over the road. <laughs> At times. <laughs> all right. Second degree murder versus Eurocentric. I feel like this is where second degree murder finally takes its hit for not being like a pronounced one liner on the channel. Yeah. It is just a tweet of mine. That's literally all that it, it can't is. can't go to the Elite Eight. It can't go to the Elite Eight. Eurocentric is great. It's a magic moment. I will admit that. I don't think it's the strongest. This magic moment. moment. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I really rushed into that one. <laughs> really? I wanted to be involved. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a great one. Yeah. I love that about you. I love that about you. <laughs> Whoa. I wasn't seeing. I wasn't. Singing. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, brother. Brother, brother. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you anymore. Were you going to continue singing? It's Eurocentric. It's Eurocentric for me. <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> Elite Eight, everybody. We're here. Arkansas Little Rock, Drill Bit Taylor. Arkansas Little Rock. Drill Bit so. Taylor is pretty good, but it, the, the depths that Little Rock take you to. Yeah, that's true. And you have to know, this is another layer to it, that crack cocaine comes in a pebble-like form, and people will be smoking rocks. Yeah. You know, it's not the powder of its little brother, cocaine. No, people say, hey, pick up a rock. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let me get a rock. It's a crack rock. I mean, people probably know that because of Frank Ocean. True. Crack rock, crack rock. Maybe they were thinking rock music with him, though. Oh, so it's like crack rock. Uh, yeah. And it is a Jimi Hendrix sample. Right. Now we got O.J. Simpson versus Jack Antonoff of Bleachers. A battle of bastards right here. This one's tough. Yeah. I do not know which way to go. I'll tell you where I lean. Okay. Potty humor. So Jack Antonoff is yeah. where you're leaning? Yeah. O.J. Simpson lives in a legendary place because it was done live. And it is a great one. But I love Jack Antonoff. Uh, that one's tough. I think I'm more proud of O.J. Simpson as like a written bit. Because the what's the difference thing where you just switch around syllables. True. Is kind of like an old school joke thing yeah. that is a little elementary. It's like, the crusty bus station, busty crustacean. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Crab with big boobs or a greyhound station. Yeah. That just feels a little bit like a childish structure for a joke. So I'm going to go with OJ Simpson. Okay. Grant, where do you go? OJ Simpson. Okay. Now we've got Don't Sleep on Coke Zero versus Mascara. Mascara. Coke Zero. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I thought like it was like Coke Zero like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, give me another line, bro. <laughs> oh no, I thought you were taking the bottle and going. Oh, like deep throating it. Yeah, deep throating a Coke Zero bottle. No. no. Uh, give me mascara here. Sure. No. 
Oh, you said give me a mascara. No. Yeah, I think you look pretty as is. I just they use horseshoe anything. crabs for that. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm going mascara. Mascara it is. Bartender with acne versus Eurocentric. I still like the beauty of Eurocentric. There's something magical about it that no other one-liner here has. Yeah, bartender with acne now to me just feels a little bit like, I'm glad I made it here, but yeah. it's not like the craziest one-liner ever. It's not final four material. Yeah. Eurocentric is... It's kind of the Cinderella of the bracket, honestly. Yeah. It also is just kind of a bit too. Like yeah. it is is predicated on wordplay, but like it has our normal bit back and forth. So right. we might as well celebrate that because of the special bond that we share and how much we love each other. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Final four. <laughs> Final four. All right. I'll drag them in the middle here. Let us know your favorites. Comment them down below. Yeah. Also, please comment more one-liners. Shout out to Kate and Reese for finding all of these one-liners. And shout out also the Hive Mind meme page, Cinematic Universe, all those, that group chat collaborated on this. But uh, if there's one that you remember from a video, please comment it down below and we will find it and put it in the second one. Arkansas Little Rock, OJ Simpson. I got to give it to Simpson here. Really? I love the visual for Arkansas, that is. But just like the length to get there. Mm -hmm. Like this is what I was saying. Like some of them benefit from being shorter. I would kill for a glass of orange juice. I'm an OJ Simpson. That is like all you needed there. No yeah. wasted space. And to be like, you know, my great uncle was on. like, it's just, it's a lot to get there. And it's an awesome trail. Yeah. But it's like the scenic route when I'm kind of in a rush. I would like to be at dinner on time. Yeah, I feel that. You're often in a rush. Mm -hmm. I will say that. You like to waste no time. Zilch. Getting from place to place. I like the scenic route sometimes. This is not the prettiest scenic route <laughs> that I took to get there. I feel like I was even still unsure about how to structure this <laughs> yeah. one when I said it. For that reason, I'll go OJ Simpson as well. I think written down on a piece of paper again. It wins the blind taste test. Yes, it wins the blind taste test. <laughs> and what's it going to face off against? We've got Mask Era versus Eurocentric. I think the magic of Eurocentric has also come to an end. It does, uh, yeah, it comes to an end <laughs> for sure. Davidson ends up losing. And I will say the added element that really pushes Mascara over the hill here for me is that you are playing a character within the one-liner. Yeah, the character of somebody who does not believe that the pandemic is a true thing. Yeah, exactly. I have, I'm have. i skeptical about the government's involvement. <laughs> in the creation <laughs> of COVID-19, yes, a.k.a. Yes. coronavirus. Yeah, I am one of those guys. Yeah, you brought character play into the bedroom, which has had really kind of changed the game. Into the bedroom? Oh, well, the bedroom being the metaphorical bedroom of the studio. Do you want where we to make sleep love, here tonight? Where we make love that is comedy. You know what I mean? <laughs> we could sleep sleep here tonight oh, if you I'm want good. to. I gotta play a video game. I got a projector. Yeah, that's our great. We could watch I a saw, movie. I saw I that. Pop it up on the wall, you and me, we lay here. We could have a, we could put a mattress what? down. What movie? If you answer this right, I'm in. Blazing Saddles? I'm out. Why? I'm out. Why? What the heck? Mel Brooks is a heck. Oh, okay, fine. Fantastic Four. I'm out. What? Jessica Alba's in that. She's hot as hell. And the stretchy guy. <laughs> the one guy from the Guinness Book of World Records. He has like the longest arms or whatever. I'm out. It. Is that what they call him? The thing? The thing. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The rock guy. What would have been the right answer? There wasn't one. There wasn't a right answer? <laughs> yeah, there wasn't. Okay, whatever. You can play video games on the projector? The quality just never translates. Starfield? What's that? You've been saying that? What's I've that? never even heard of this game, and I thought that? you said that. Stardew Valley? Is that... <laughs> You're going to make a great father one day, and I really believe that. You think so? Yeah. Oh. As long as you aren't allergic to it. <laughs> That's just a little gentle rib. Obviously, you wouldn't be allergic to your own child. Unless your wife cheats on you. <laughs> cheats on me with a peanut? Yeah. I plan on having a kid out of wedlock. <laughs> so yeah. It doesn't matter about what my wife does. Oh, cool. Mascara. Mascara. <laughs> All right, there's going to be a poll in the chat. Right now, vote for which one out of OJ Simpson and Mascara you like more and comment which one you thought should have made it here. And if your favorite one didn't even make the bracket, scream at the top of your lungs right out of the windows of your home or your car. And then also type what you screamed in the comments. <laughs> yeah, you don't forget that. <laughs> in all caps. OJ Simpson. Mascara. O.J. Simpson is about a glass of orange juice. I would kill for a glass of orange juice. Mm -hmm. And then invoking the name of professional football player. And potential murderer O.J. Simpson. The only thing missing from this one, there's not really a simping 
element. I guess killing for someone is totally yeah. simping. I feel like that's simping. Like yeah. if you say like, dude, I would kill for her and she that's, doesn't even like you, yeah. then you're a simp. That's true. You know what I mean? Like I would kill for Pokimane. And it's like, I know I'm not saying that about myself. I'm saying like that is a Some, sample sentence yeah. from somebody <laughs> it's else. An odd sample <laughs> sentence. Like Same I would thing. kill for Pokimane. And it's like, because she again. has simps. Oh, okay. She has simps. And so I'm they saying. no, it was a girl. What? I thought Pokimane was a guy. Because the main is in it. Pokimane is a is a streamer. Okay. Yeah. And Mascara is you playing the character of a COVID denier or someone who entertains the thought of the virus itself being a government concoction. Yes. And so isn't it funny that the government made up a virus and now we're all in our mascara. And now we have to be masked up. But I used the word makeup. Right. Instead of made up. True. So it's make up a virus. Yeah. And now we're in mask era. Yeah. So the era of wearing masks, <laughs> but also mascara, which is makeup. I feel like these are pretty pretty even and pretty similar. Yeah. They both have kind of like a double on the front and double on the back. Mm -hmm. That's really all that they are. They're both one sentence. They are one liners. For me, it is OJ Simpson. It's just a little tighter. And I'm gonna do something that I think some of our videos have been missing recently in terms of brackets. I am gonna disagree with you. I think I'm gonna go with mascara. And so this one is going to be up to DJ Grant behind the camera. Okay. I'm going to go with mascara because the only real difference between these two moments is that one can only be enjoyed live by a select few amount of people, and the other one was originally on the channel before it came here. Like, I bet you a lot of people haven't seen the OJ Simpson one before this bracket even. So yeah. Because of that, I will say I'm going to go with Max Mascara. Okay. Hey, hey, I that's like the reasoning. Fair. I like the reasoning. Sound right? reasoning. Yeah, for sure. So, Mask Era wins the first Hive Mind one-liners bracket. Please let us know if we should do this again and let us know what should be in there. Comment your favorite one-liners from the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting our stupid wordplay. <laughs> and make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning, and great, and come on. Leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. I am the most miserable man on the planet. If all felt like me, a smile could not be found. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this has been I'm on TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Here you go, Quasimodo. They used to call me Quasimodo the way I used to hump backs at Notre Dame. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. I was going to say, I always wanted to drive when I was a kid, and my family took a trip to France, and while I was there, we rented bicycles, and I was riding around with my backpack, and I put a card in the back wheel. Oh, that my Quasimodo. Quasimodo. <laughs> <laughs> so you're wearing a backpack that makes you a hunchback. Right. And you're in France, which, yeah. Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame. And, I know, always wanted to drive. It's a quasi-moto. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I like it. You respect it. I respect it. It wasn't well executed. It's not quippy. It's not quippy. By no means. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was and, tedious, I would and, say. And how. <laughs> yeah. You got a little fuzz on your face. Fucking touch me again. Barely touched you. I mostly yeah. grabbed the fuzz. Yeah, it's operation like. I'm like a surgeon. Help, help! <laughs> the queen! Where's the queen? <laughs> she hasn't made a statement. I think she's reading a chil children's book to, to children. <laughs> <laughs> she's reading a book to children, I guess. Big scratch. Ooh, he's itchy.